reused the gelatin from Halloween that I had left over in the barrel. So yeah, that feels good. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Keys Ritual, and I just got home from the club, that's why I'm dressed like this. It is currently 5.42 a.m. and I just felt like filming this video now since I've had this gratis for quite, uh, since, for like five, six days now and I really want to play with it. So I decided to show you what I got so that I can play with it tomorrow and organize it into my desk since my desk is still a mess from before Halloween, um, still a mess. Um, I'm actually filming this on the fifth morning, uh, fifth or sixth. I don't know. It's yeah. So either way, I have the new sugar pill on my lid, pumpkin spice, which is limited edition, and it looks like this. I have that all on my lid. I smudged a little bit. It's been a, it's been a long night. Um, I'm very quiet. I don't know why. I feel very like cool. But I'm actually going to put my mask on to do this because I feel like I just got this at Patricia Field for a dollar and I feel like wearing it. But yeah, first things first, out of my gratis hole, I got um, this in pharmacy uh, anti wrinkle mask. I already used it because I couldn't help it. And um, these are all my own opinions. I, I get this because I work for Sephora, but I wasn't that satisfied with it. Um, it made my nose texture go weird, um, although now it's good. I have used some other skincare products to fix that. Okay, next thing is I got um, this Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black Dry Shampoo. And I honestly don't use dry shampoo very much, but I will be checking this out shortly. Let me just look and spray it on myself. Oh, it's white, really white. So yeah, I have very dark hair, so I don't know if this would work very well for me. But it's everywhere. Okay, next thing I got was um, actually a duo of an eyelash curler, and it's like gem encrusted. Um, you can currently buy these at Sephora at like Beauty on the Fly, or in the gondola. Just at mine, it's only at Beauty on the Fly at my Sephora, um, and it comes with a mascara. Uh, the Lights, Camera, Flash is Tarte, which is made of Amazonian clay. There it is. Although I'm not going to apply it because I already have my mascara on. I didn't wear fake lashes just so I could wear this mask without it being all weird. Readjust the mask. My nose is a little messed up because I do touch my nose a lot. I came with this little thing that says, uh, party like a tartlet. And it says, hi Tartlet, here's a little something from the Tart team to thank you for all your hard work throughout the year. Thanks for being such a big part, a great partner and have a happy holidays. Um, I couldn't read that very well because the brightness is blinding me. And it, it always blinds me, but I don't usually look at it. I'm looking usually at myself doing makeup, at least for this past month I have. Now the next thing I got is, this is uh, 1993, I mean, sorry, Stark Naked by um, Urban Decay, Matt, and I was actually going to buy this. And this one in 1993 I really liked. Let me do a little swatch for you guys. And, oh, it's, my face, I covered it. But there you go. It's this very neutral look. Of course I can't put it on my lips. My lips are busted. I forgot to bring my lipstick with me when I left, so I couldn't touch that. Um, and I drink a lot of drinks, like iced tea. <laughs> I'm like, I trust me, I'm innocent. Come on. Um, and the next thing I got was um, Lives in James Nirvana um, hair bands. I don't really use these. I don't have that much hair to like really tie up without it just being there. Uh, to use Lives in James Nirvana dry shampoo to add volume texture to up dudes for a finishing touch. Spray hair ties with Lives in James fragrance to intensify scent. I don't like the scents. This is my opinion again. I love Black Opium by uh, Issa Laurent, my favorite scent, and I don't know why I sound so quiet. Like, I honestly don't feel like I could raise my voice any higher. Maybe because it's so early. Now, this I got, um, Kate Somerville's um, Exfolicate, and I've already used this, and I actually liked how it made my skin feel. Um, I actually have one of these exact sizes, so I'll be probably using this um, again soon. 
It's like a green exfoliating sort of mask. You leave it on for two minutes, and then you rinse it off after you rub it into your skin for 30 seconds. Uh, it feels amazing. It actually, it stings a little bit, but it's amazing. Now this is, I love this stuff. This is Mirai Invisible Blur Protect Perfection Shield. Um, you put this on to erase your blurs, and it also works as a primer. Um, and it has SPF 30 in it, and it's really good. Um, I'm probably using this tomorrow. I've been wanting to use this, but I just, I didn't want it to use anything in my gratis. And I really, I like this, and I use this all the time. I, I get little samples and go to work, just because I'm cheap and poor, and I can't afford it. I can't afford anything, really. Like... Gratis has helped me quite a bit in the past few months. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna. What, it doesn't like. It just, I can't really show you much. Square, but. I feel like I'm doing it wrong. Am I doing it wrong? I think he's gotta get some pressure. Like, I feel something moving. I don't know, I'll figure that one out later. I'm probably doing it wrong. I probably am, but I'll just put a little bit on my hand. On the inside. Um, you see how it blurs everything? I'll be using this in more of my future videos um, as a primer. I feel so smooth. But I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> Getting distracted. Now, next thing we got was something very coveted when it first came out. It is the Jacqueline Hale Champagne Bop by Becca. There we go. Boom. Now, I already have Opal, which you see me use quite often. Now, I'm going to show you a little comparison. This is Opal, and this is Champagne Pop. You see how it's pinker? Compare. Compare two highlighters in a bright light. And I actually have a little bit of this on right now. I really wanted to put this on, but um, I didn't want to touch it until I got this video out. But I'll probably be wearing it tomorrow or whenever. Let's see what's next. Okay, this this is a Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I have been spraying this on uh, my skin. I have noticed looking a bit dewier, but I haven't really felt any difference in my skin texture. So I'm not 100% sure what this does. Um, I haven't done my much research on the uh, Tatcha brand, although I do have two things by Tatcha in here. So if you guys would like to know more information, um, Sephora.com, just look up Tatcha, do a skin mask, and, or ask me in the comment section and I will just give you an answer. Because, yeah. Now this is the Luminous Deep Hydrating Firming Serum. Now I have a normal to dry skin. I have like dry patches on my cheeks, but the rest of my face is normal skin type, like skin type. So this, I, I use a lot of um, hydration treatments, especially in my cheeks, which I'll be using one tonight. Um, just because um, the skin gets dry, it looks patchy, I don't like it. So I use a lot of um, hydration and my cheeks always feel good when I put my stuff on it. What's next? This is just a clip from the eyelash color. And what's this? What's this? Oh, oh yes. I got a whole like thing right here. Uh, Smashbox gave us a whole bunch of things. Now first thing they gave us was this little lip gloss of Pink Lady. And I'll do a little swatch on my wrist for you guys. It's a tiny little lip gloss. This would go well with that lipstick, but it's like very nude, very neutral. You can barely see it. You can remember my skin tone quite well to where this is a foundation. And then I have this little booklet from uh, Smashable. What's that? Um. <laughs> so I got a primer sample in there from the regular Smashbox primer. And then I got this little booklet that has a 2, 4, 6, and 9 of the foundation shades from the Smashbox Liquid Halo, which I believe I'm a shade 4, but I will try that out later when I have actual skin. Tone showing. Oh, if I would have known this was in here, I would have used it a long time ago. 
um, it's a liquid uh, liner, uh, the Smashbox Photo Angle Pure Pigment Gel Liner. I'm going to open that because I need a new liner. You're like, oh, there we go. You're scared it's not gonna work. There's a little black liner. Definitely something I would have worn today if I had known it was there. Okay, then I got this little full exposure palette. Um, it comes with two colors the uh, S3 and M3. If I could open it, I could show you. I believe this is actually currently, out of uh, the point of me filming this, a 100 point perk uh, from Sephora. If you go on Sephora.com or you go to one of the stores, um, I've seen a, a duo from Smashbox as a 100 point perk, so this might be the exact same thing. I should be able to swatch of those colors for you guys. Okay, this is the first one, and then this is... The first one wet, since these do uh, do wet and dry. And then this is the second one on my wrist, right here. And this is the second one wet. Big difference. It's right there. <laughs> And then the next trigger from Smashbox is um, Taupe Soft Brown Brow Tech. I believe this is brow powder. Oh, and, oh how is that open? Oh, it comes with the two brow powders and a pomade, which I believe is the exact same one from the Smashbox palette. And I know I used you earlier today. Putting on my face, I put it on my cheeks. So it is not quite the same colors. It does have the same pomade, it does have the same first shade, but the second shade, no, it's the same third shade, it's the, pretty much all three of these shades, right here from the Smashbox um, a Shape Matters palette. So if you want a full size of these. Um, and then what's next? Uh, a Photo Finish Primer Water. This is a primer you put on before you put makeup, and you can use it to set your makeup as well. And it helps hydrate your skin. And then I got eyebrow pencil in taupe, which is a little light for me, but I will of course make it work because I do other people's makeup. And then I got a little angle brush to do my brows with. Tiny. What else is there? Now I got um, cover effects drops. Um, in the color N35, and I know this is my color, but what you do with this is you uh, you mix it with moisturizer or primer, and it becomes your own foundation. There's this. Now, of course, I already put it over the primer on my hand, and it blends right in. You can't even see it. Um, I'm not gonna mix that right now, but you're probably seeing a lot more of this in future videos. I'm going to actually put this on my face. I know I got it. I just didn't want to crack the seal on all these products before I showed you these. I've just been too busy like trying to recover from Halloween. Okay, next is I got the uh, Long Home Source Circles Gel in the color Burn 5, and I've actually used this one too. I really like this. You can see I used it one time just to try it out, and I really like the color. It's really dark because my brows are dark. And I want them darker right now because they are still somewhat bleached. Um, okay. And I really do like that stuff. It gives it like a nice little shine to it. And makes your eyebrows look more natural. Now, next I got is the Josie Moran um, Dirty Bliss Blush. And this is actually a hydration uh, blush. color that it puts on. It's very soft berry blush. 
and you of course can build it. I believe you can build it. It's a nice soft berry blush right here. And then I feel like there's nothing left except for one little thing. Oh, an extra piece for uh, my lash curler, which I'm going to put in the drawer so I don't lose it, because I will lose it. And then my last but not least, I got this little Givenchy bag, and it comes with stuff inside of it, which I already know what this is. It comes with uh, three brushes. It comes with a powder brush, an angled brush, and a spoolie which I love brushes and I've been trying not to buy anymore. And I've been buying more brushes because I've washed them since my Halloween body paints and such. So it's been a minute and I am really getting mad at that, but I probably try to do it later today when I wake up. But I'm gonna put those right there. And that's it of my gratis. Um, I will see you all next time. And um, I know this is very quiet. I'll try to make the sound louder, but um, Hope you enjoyed this video, but I will see you all next time. Have a good day. Bye. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, I will be giving you extra videos lately. Um, the next video should be the Jeffree Star lipstick reviews. Um, at first, I thought I wasn't able to afford them, and then I found some work shoes that I had. I was going to spend 80 something bucks for, and I found some that were just as good for 20 So they're like, okay, I can buy these lipsticks. I have the money now. So they should be coming in the mail someday soon, and I will review them all, um, probably in two videos, which is different than I normally do. I usually do each lipstick gets their own video, but we will see how I feel when they come in. Um, but I will see you all next time. Don't forget to like and comment and tell me what you thought, uh, and subscribe. You can check out my other videos. I do just released a million makeup videos this past month. Um, but I will see you all next time. Have a good day. Bye.